Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Looking at the Earth-facing side of the sun, have one sunspot over here that's not super complex, so more than likely won't see a lot of activity out of that one. This one over here, though, is considerably different. This is a very large, complex area of multiple sunspots that's turning towards the Earth right now as I do this video. So look for an increase in solar activity in the coming days. In fact, in the next probably week to two weeks, as that turns turns towards planet Earth. We're seeing an increase in volcano activity. There's been an eruption over here in southern Japan at Mount Aso. I have some footage I want to share with you guys from that location. An update on the situation in the Canary Islands. The La Palma volcano. New numbers coming out of La Palma October 22nd of 2021. 33rd day in a row of volcanic activity. More than 600 tremors were registered in the last week. Week, strongest being a 4.8. Lava flow now covers a surface area of 886 hectares. That's around 2,000 acres. 35,000 earthquakes recorded in the last month. Nearly 2,000 buildings consumed by lava. Experts see no end in sight. And the new delta that's forming from lava flowing into the ocean is around 40 hectares. That would be around 98 new acres of land off the west coast of La Palma. Wanted to share with you guys some new video footage. Here you can see a photo of what almost looks like the, the surface of the sun. Just bright orange lava. Video posted here from the Weather Network showing lava moving through the, the center of town. A towering wall of molten lava moving very, very slowly. Looks like through a downtown area consuming buildings and infrastructure. There you can see lava falling into a swimming pool. There goes the palm tree looking at the eruption site right there. There's the crater and there's the hot lava. Looks like the surface of the sun flowing on planet Earth. Unbelievable. There's a huge chunk of debris and there you can see the, the lava flow right there slowly moving through the countryside making its way towards the ocean. Going down the road that looks exactly like what we saw on the big island of of Hawaii when Mount Kilauea erupted back in 2018. Scientists say the eruption could last for three months just incredible. So those are the, the latest updates I have from La Palma. There's been yet another volcanic eruption, this time over in southern Japan, right here in this area on the, the south end of Japan, Mount Aso. I put together some video footage of the, the volcanic activity we've seen here recently. This is the crater of Mount Kilauea, Haley Mau Mau, and you can see lava starting to come out of the, the crater. This was from a couple of days ago on the 20th. And I also noticed something interesting show up in the field of view of the camera. That's the moon. And then in the field of view, it looks like an orb next to the moon. Very large orb at that. And something going on over here. Could be just digital artifacts. That very well could be a reflection on the housing of the camera. I'm not exactly sure how this camera is set up. If these things have a dome around the camera, and then every time the full moon or the daytime sun enters the field of view of the the camera, there's always going to be a reflection, some sort of a glare of the sun or the moon. And that very well could be what we're looking at here, but it does appear to be quite bright. And there's something over here to the right Again, that could be just simply a digital artifact. I found that interesting, and I'm just passing it along, guys. You tell me what we've got going on there. Now back out to the Canary Islands, a still image of one of the latest eruptions going on in the Canary Islands. Very active day. That was from 24 hours ago. You can see a very tall fountain of lava. You got a taller one and a small one over here. Dark ash and smoke going up into the sky. Now over to Japan. Mount Aso, yet another volcanic eruption in the last 48 to 72 hours. This one here emitting a very large plume of ash and smoke that consumed the hillside here. You're going to see a, a building and, and cars and people here in the foreground as that wall of ash and dust were moving right in their direction. Another large eruption. And Mount Aso is one of the most active volcanoes on planet Earth. Next 
next to Mount Kilauea. And once again, there's the location of Mount Aso. I want to take you guys now over to the east coast of the United States. Something I've noticed on the GO-16 satellite off the upper northeastern coast of the United States, basically parallel with New Jersey and Long Island, New York. It's where I've noticed something here recently on the GO-16 satellite as I watch that every day as I monitor the weather. And I've noticed something showing up off the east coast parallel with New Jersey and Long Island, New York, right out here at the edge of this escarpment. The light blue features you see on this map, that's known as an escarpment. That's more shallow water out here in the dark Darker blue is deeper water. In fact, out here off the coast of New York, these are volcanoes, underwater volcanoes. Obviously, they're dormant, but these things are huge. This one here, in fact, I'll measure it real quick. Check this out. Look at that. 37.2 miles wide, nearly 40 mile wide volcano. In fact, multiple volcanoes off the coast of the United States out in the Atlantic Ocean. But what I want to show you guys is something I noticed on the GO-16. And here we go. It is a underwater feature. I don't know how it's even showing up, but it does. And this feature that's showing up on this map appears, at least to me, to be something new. I've never noticed this before. If I would have seen this, I would have mentioned it. I don't think this has been here for a very long time. See this round area over here? It reminds me of an underwater crater. I don't remember ever seeing that. And it's in that escarpment area. That's why I pointed out that escarpment because it's right here. And it shows up on the GO-16 as well. There's the escarpment, just like we see right here. And when we go in closer, just like the GO-16, here's New Jersey, there's New York. And this big area, whatever that is, that's round, would be right here in this area and you don't see anything around. I did a screen recording from the most recent loop. This is from today, and I adjust the lighting and color and just making sure it's not some sort of a digital artifact, and it doesn't appear to be, especially in this format. It's showing us that there's something round, fairly large, off the coast of New Jersey and New York. You can see it real well in this format. I don't know what we've got going on there. If anything, it could be a simple digital artifact that just happens to be round like a large caldera. And that's what it reminds me of, a large caldera. Is it a large caldera? Don't know. But if you look out here in the ocean, you can see areas that look like a large caldera. See that area right there? More than likely, that's an old volcano because right here is a string of old underwater volcanoes that are quite large, not active, but quite large. So whatever that is, to me, maybe you guys have noticed it too, Looks like there's something new off of the upper northeast coast of the United States that appears to be round, an underwater feature, a large mysterious feature that's showing up in the escarpment of the upper northeast part of the United States, right in that area. I want to take you guys now over to the website, quick look at the Schumann Resonance, and you can see there's been a little bit of activity in the last 16 hours. Nothing major, but nevertheless, there is activity going on in the Schumann Resonance. Not much going on planetary-wise in the K index, no geomagnetic storm activity, but expect that to change in the days ahead as we've got a large complex turning towards the Earth, and as this turns towards the Earth, it could get more and more complex, creating solar flares that could produce Earth-directed CMEs because that large complex is turning towards planet Earth. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos, and from all around the world. Teresa F. out of Winfield, Missouri. That is unedited, exactly the way I received it. Glenna from West Virginia, same type of sky, pink and purple. Once again, unedited photos. That's exactly how I received them. Val V. out of Fort Myers, Florida. Fiery orange sky, I believe that is a sunrise. Jerry M. out of Quebec, Canada. Very tall, intense, double-decker rainbow. Looks like a big portal over there in the sky. Jasmine S. out of Calgary, Alberta. Got a long, what looks like a hybrid roll cloud in the sky. Not quite a perfect roll cloud, but doesn't look like a shell cloud either. Jim and Tracy out of Fort Collins, Colorado. They said that looked like a little ship just parked up in the sky. Lulu L. out of Portugal. Got a very unique 
oblique frontal boundary off in the distance over there. Looks like it's in front of the sunset. A wall of orange with a very crisp line on the top of it. That's a cold front meeting a warm front. And where the boundaries meet creates a nice straight line. Lizzie out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Notice the same phenomena in the sky above Milwaukee. See it over there? That's a front. That's a frontal boundary. More photos of the recent northern lights sent in by Matt out of Edmonton, Alberta. Spectacular green. And then this one here wasn't necessarily bright green, but he couldn't help but notice the very unique configuration that consumed half of his field of view in the sky above Edmonton, Alberta. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming here at the website. You can see a photo of the recent full moon taken by Nick out of Tucson, Arizona. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website, and sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.